Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Terribolini, and in this video, I'm going to be straightening out this wall. So uh, I need to put up some drywall, and I realized that this wall is not um, like perfectly flat. There's natural bowing that happens in the wood, and so basically, what I need to do is try and adjust one of these studs so it is completely flat. So I was basically kind of like taking this long level and sticking it on here and seeing kind of where we're at. So there's like a huge space down over here and it's trying to attach drywall when there's that big of a space it doesn't work very well. So I'm basically just sliding this along and I need to basically line up with the stud on each side because I can't, you know, these are um, more load bearing here. And so I don't want to uh, um, adjust those. So it'll be the ones in the middle and so I can already tell this is way off, but I can't really adjust this one too much. So I'm going to see what else I can do. So I'll go around to the other side. And when I line up against this stud here, I can see there's a big space on this stud right here. These ones line up pretty well. Like these, these, I wouldn't have to touch these. So like this is in line, this is in line, this is in line, and this is gonna be pretty close to in line as well. And so it's really this one stud that basically needs to come this way so it touches here and I'm flat on this side. You can see I put a string here and um, it's touching this stud, but there's a space on the rest of them here. So this one is the problematic stud that I need to move this way. So. Having determined that, uh, there's something called a flitch plate that you do. So what you do is you can't really pull the stud this way on its own. So what you do is you kind of cut it. You basically cut halfway through the stud and then that'll give you some leeway. So you can kind of pull it into place and then I'll stick a shim in there. I'll show you how I do this, but basically stick a shim in there and then you screw boards on to each side of where you cut like that, and that'll help um, keep it strong. So that's called the flitch plate. Um, so this, this is actually the first time I've done this, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically just cut halfway through here. This is a wire, um, you know, that's off. No worry to worry about that. I'm basically just gonna cut halfway through the stud right here. Okay, so I'll bring you around so you can see, or right here. Um, but there's basically a cut right there. So we'll see if that's deep enough. I might have to make it a little bit deeper, um, but I'll basically attempt to push on this that way and then try and stick a shim in there to kind of hold it in place. Yeah, so that's gonna have to get cut a little bit more. So I'll hit it again. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's move it a little bit more. Yeah. And then once you get the, uh, the shim in there, you just break it off like that. I'm gonna take these flitch plates and strengthen it up here like this. Okay, line it up here. Make sure you line it up with the stud. You don't want it sticking out. Make sure it's lined up just right.
Also another little trick. If you don't want to split your wood, you can um, go backwards and then go forwards into the wood. It won't crack as much. that guy all right again just go backwards to kind of help so it doesn't split and then forwards just like that hit the other side here and you know what makes it easier? I'm actually gonna do this now. I'm going to get screws started in here, so I'm not trying to put it up here, hold the screw and put it in. So I'll just do that right down here. That makes things easier. screws here okay so I put in a number of screws on each side this is the flitch plate here strengthening things up and I am flush like everything is looking pretty good all the way down the string line is looking Looking really good. So that's basically what you have to do. All right, so as you can see, basically here's where I put the cut and then I hammered in a uh, shim. Basically as I pulled it out, I put the shim in further and further and so we kind of hold it in place. And then at that point, I basically just take these uh, boards here and screw them in on both sides to help support it. And this is called the, the flitch plate here. And that's basically what I had to do is basically like just cut move that stud a little bit and that basically flattened out the entire wall and made it so I can actually put the drywall on instead and not have those massive gaps that I was having before. All right, so that is a flitch plate and that's how you can flatten out your walls so you can put on the drywall without having massive gaps in there. And yeah, that's about it. So if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.